The PLUS delivery system consists of a series of coaxially arranged sheaths and catheters, along with a tubular handle control system. The delivery system has a total length of 175 centimeters and a usable length of 90 centimeters. The usable portion of the delivery system consists of a flexible tip and an outer primary sheath that is used to advance and track over a guide wire. The middle portion of the delivery system consists of a black stationary grip which provides a steady and secure handhold. The orange shipping retainer is a plastic disposable component that prevents premature deployment. And a gray deployment grip ensures controlled delivery of the stent graft. The flush port stopcock attached to the gray deployment grip is for irrigation of the internal components and the stent graft. At the distal end of the main body is the controller. The controller is an extremely important component because it controls the independent movement of the sheaths and catheters during advancement and retraction of the gray deployment grip. The controller is spring-loaded. To select the desired position, push the controller in, rotate to desired position, and then release. An arrow located on the main body handle highlights the number position of the controller. A stainless steel rod provides support to the system and is connected to the guide wire lumen, which then connects to the tip. At the distal end of the delivery system, there are several key components. The apex release retainer secures the apex release grip and prevents it from moving prematurely. The apex release grip is the component which is retracted to release the bare metal stent once the stent graft has been deployed. The guide wire lure and flush port extension tubing facilitate irrigation of the guide wire lumen. Now that we are familiar with the system components, let's take a look at the actions of the delivery system. During the advancement stage, the gray deployment grip is moved forward to advance the inner sheath out of the outer sheath. The inner sheath will expand slightly as it exits the outer sheath. The inner sheath has a D-shaped marker to indicate alignment and can be used to determine the direction to rotate the inner sheath if manual rotation is required. The radiopaque marker bands are located at the proximal and distal ends of the stent graft and indicate the edges of the graft fabric. There are also radiopaque marker bands located near the mid portion of the stent graft, which help to locate the spiral support strut that provides longitudinal support. To begin controlled deployment, the controller must be rotated to position 2. The gray deployment grip is retracted along with the inner sheath, exposing the bare and first covered stent. At this point, any additional longitudinal adjustments, both cranial and caudal, can be made prior to final deployment. When ready to complete deployment, fully retract the gray deployment grip with one continuous smooth motion. This will ensure a smooth reseating of the tip with the outer sheath later in the procedure. With the stent graft in the desired position, the bare apexes will now be released. Remove the apex release retainer by unscrewing the stainless steel thumb screw. To release the bare apexes, retract the apex release grip, identified with number 3, the complete distance toward the guide wire lure. At this point, the stent graft is in the final position. To remove the delivery system, rotate the controller to position 4. Retract the stainless steel rod until the flexible tip reseats into the outer sheath. Do not apply great force. At this point, the entire system can be removed. For more information on Relay Thoracic Stent Graft, please contact Bolton Medical or visit us online at RelayTAA.com.